Hey guys, it's me Vanessa checking in with a healthy mom tip. Today I want to talk to you guys about snacks and kids. I don't know about you, but my kids are always hungry. They tell me all the time, mommy, I'm hungry all day. And, um, you know, they're growing kids. But I found that the type of snacks that I feed them and the type of foods that I give them can either make them more hungry throughout the day or if I'm intentional and I'm smart and I plan ahead, I can give them really nutritionally filling snacks that will actually keep them full for more than like 30 minutes or an hour. And keeping away from the sugary stuff definitely helps their attitudes and their demeanors throughout the day. <laughs> so. I wanted to give you a few tips for keeping healthy snacks in your house and helping your kids eat healthy snacks. Tip number one is that it has to start with you. I didn't even attempt to change my kids' eating habits or even my husband's eating habits when I first started a year ago. All I did was focus on myself. But the crazy thing happened, they're watching what you put on your plate. They're watching what you put in your mouth. When I was eating a grapefruit and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. They were like, I want to try it. And my kids now love grapefruits, which are kind of like a weird fruit. Most kids don't really like them, but they saw me eating it and they wanted to join in. They've even started eating salad and other things that I just never even thought to offer them. And just because they see me eating it, they're joining with me. So whatever snacks that you decide to make for your kids, sit down with them. Take a few bites yourself. As they see you eating it, they're going to be more inclined to join in as well. The second one is make it special. Kids can be tricked sometimes <laughs> if you make it look pretty. So I will give them celery with a little bit of natural nut butters and put the little um, raisins. Did anybody else do that? The ants on a log? And just the fact that it looks different and it looks cute and it looks funny they'll eat it. Or I'll take a banana and I'll slice it up and make it look like a smiley face and put a little dab of peanut butter for the nose. Kids love it when you have fun with their snacks and make them look interesting. They're more excited to want to try it, even if it's something new. So when I first gave them hummus, I put the hummus in the middle and I put like baby carrots and peppers, like a sun all around it. And I started eating it and they wanted to join in. So have fun. They're kids. Um, the more exciting it looks and it sounds, then you may have a better chance of them at least trying a little bit. Um, number three is make healthy foods the only options. So if my kids know that there's juice or a bag of chips in the pantry and I'm like, guys, we're just going to have fruit for a snack, they're going to be more persistent <laughs> to try and get those sugary fatty snacks. I mean, of course. But if they ask me for chips or they ask me for crackers, they ask me for juice, and I say, sorry guys, like we don't have any. We don't have any in the pantry. All we have is fruit or hummus and carrots or a cheese stick. You know, if the only options they have are healthy options, you'd be surprised <laughs> that their hunger gets the best of them and they're willing to eat the healthy foods. Number four, fill them up. The more you fill them up with good stuff, the less that they're going to want the bad stuff. So the way that I do this is I like to add healthy nut butters, like almond butter or natural peanut butter. If they're having apple slices, I'll give them a little dollop of it. I've put it on bananas in between like a whole wheat tortilla. Just put some slices of bananas and peanut butter. Um, also hummus is really good. My kids love hummus and they dip their carrot sticks in it. Sometimes they just eat the hummus. <laughs> they don't even eat the carrots, but we're working on that. But there's lots of good healthy fats in that. And then protein. Sometimes I'll give them, well, cheese obviously has protein, or I'll do some lettuce with some cold cuts inside and roll it up and make it like a little roll up. But I'm putting protein in their bodies instead of just goldfish, which are carbs, which are going to make them hungry again. Or even just fruit by itself can sometimes make them hungry again in a little while because there's no protein or fats connected to it. So uh, the fifth one is... The three P's, be patient, be persistent, and be positive. The kids are not going to like making big changes all at once. I know my kids are not like that. So I've just had to be patient and positive and persistent. Um, cutting out the junk food from my house so that it's not even here is helps a lot. But just being positive, even for desserts. They ask me, Mommy, what's for dessert? And sometimes I'll be like, well, we have some bananas, and we can sprinkle some cinnamon on top, and... 
that's what we're having for dessert. And they're like, awesome. <laughs> so um, if you have only healthy options, it helps a lot. And kids do change. If you are persistent, maybe it won't be overnight and maybe it won't be after a week. But if you're persistent, you'd be surprised at how quickly they adapt to healthier snacks and healthier diet. I hope this has helped you. I'm going to be making a list at the end of this video of some of my favorite healthy snacks. And if you'd like to follow along with me, um, you can follow me on Instagram at 5 Ingredient Gourmet. And I'm always posting healthy recipes and snacks. And I would also love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I'm posting healthy mom tips, workout tips, lots of inspiration. Would love for you to follow along. Thanks for watching.